2017, The Final Preparation of the Kings and Priests, Chapter 3, A Walk in the Fire. We know that we're very close to the completion of this phase of our sojourn, training, purification, and pre preparation. We're very close to the end of it. Even now, we've been leaning into this next transition from life into life, as we have said before. At times, you may find yourself leaning into a provision or promise before the time has fully come for its manifestation. You could compare this to the Lord as he spoke to Mary and said, Woman, it is not my time. It seemed like the transition for Christ was ahead of schedule, but we know it was right on time. It can seem that we're not yet prepared for a promise or provision as the Lord begins to draw your spirit into it, but His timing is always perfect. What happens, inevitably, is that you get stretched beyond what you thought you were capable of. This time of change which is underway is a type of change you have not experienced before, for He's bringing the sons into a new type of existence. He is doing something new, entirely new within the sons. Many will be purged, purified, and refined, but the wicked will act wickedly, and none of the wicked will understand, but those who have insight will understand. Daniel 12.10 We're changing from one order into another order, and I know that this is difficult for us to grasp. It may seem like we're talking about concepts because we're not quite there yet. We really don't know the experience that awaits us in this transformation that is happening, but we do know that we're in the midst of it. Until we're on the other side of this transformation, we will continue to go through the process of being purged, purified, and refined. This is the ongoing path. Sometimes you can be right in the middle of the dealings of God and the purifying work of the Spirit and not really understand nor recognize it. The Lord is very good at getting right in your face because this is about a walk with Him. This is all about a walk with Him. He is our provision. He is our sustenance. He makes a way for His sons and daughters a path in the wilderness. He requires that we progressively lay more and more down and enter into a deeper trust and walk with Him. But it does not come easily. The soul is constantly bucking change, trying to stay on the throne and create a great deal of problems. The word has always come, don't look for me in the easy way out, but look for me in the difficult path, because that is where you will find me. When things get difficult and challenging and you're up against a wall, that in itself is a strong sign that he is completing a change within you. Do not miss a season of His appearing to you by getting caught up in all of the issues and problems. It can be too easy to lose sight of the larger picture. Anne's father, a minister who has since passed over, had a humorous analogy he often shared. It goes like this. When you're up to your ass in alligators, it can oftentimes be difficult to remember that your original mission was to drain the swamp. I think we feel that way more often than we know. Windows of opportunity are precious. The challenge at times is to recognize your window of opportunity. In those moments of deepest challenge, we need to recognize that His presence is even more available. I know I am speaking to the choir here. We all know this, but it's good to rehearse. Are you a victim or a victor? How do you see the situation that you're in? We have the power to create, but that ability to create goes both ways. You can create the positive, or you can give assent to the illusion, to the warfare, to what appears. You can create the positive, or you can give weight and credibility to the lie, and literally create that. The word has come so many times. You will praise your way into and out of everything I set before you. Our worship to the Lord is a state of heart, not just a moment of time at a church service. This is how we live. 
This is our life, and we've been around the horn too many times not to understand what's going on. In these times of challenge, His presence is more available to us than ever. There is no doubt that His sons will continue to go through the fire until this transition is completed. It is our path. So let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His going forth is as certain as the dawn, and he will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain watering the earth. Hosea 6, three. This is just a little meditation, something to think about. The promise in Hosea is one we live by. 6.3 So let us press on to know the Lord, for his coming is like the rain. He has broken the knees of the sons, but the promise is that the Lord appears as they press on. So you press on to know him. Understand that in the midst of the greatest challenges, he is there, and with his appearing is an opportunity to break into a deeper relationship with him.